hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to make a very simple and easy bikini top this has a floral detail in the middle and just multi colors you can go for any colors of your choice you can choose to use as many colors as you need to use but i just chose two shades of green as most of you know i am in love with the granny stitch of let it's not even of let i've always made different beautiful designs out of the granny stitch so i decided to come up with this project so that i help out people who are into very fast and quick projects that get done under one hour this would be a very good project for you for other granny uh projects please check the link in the description box below i'll be leaving all the granny patterns that i've ever made on my youtube channel so that you can try them out uh, you play around with the different colors and get some amazing results so you can do two shades of pink or two shades of purple that would be really cute so uh, for the materials you will need a hook the hook that i'm using is a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and then you also need a pair of scissors a darning needle and yarn for the yarn you need any yarn of your choice and I prefer you use um, medium weight yarn. And for this, I used Winter King as well as Robin. So you'll see me doubling my strand on Robin because it's a fingering weight yarn. And uh, for Winter King, I used one strand because it's a medium weight yarn. So let's jump into the video and learn how to make this beautiful top. So you're going to start off with your very first color. For me, that is neon green and uh, i am using two strands of this because this is fingering weight yarn if you're using a medium weight yarn please don't double your strand just use one strand just like this one i'll be using one strand of this but two strands of this because this one is thinner so you're going to start off with a magic ring like that And you're going to chain one and this doesn't count as a chain this is just to secure the magic ring then uh, you're going to make a chain of four one two three and four and that counts as a double crochet chain one then you're going to go into the magic ring with one double crochet then you're going to chain one one double crochet into the same magic ring chain one one double crochet into the magic ring so we are placing all these stitches into the magic ring and we want a total of nine stitches so remember the first chain three counted as a double crochet so so far we have one two three and four chain one this is the fifth chain one sixth chain one seventh chain one eighth chain one and this is the ninth which is the very final one make sure you cross check to make sure you have um the desired number of stitches so that you don't have anything more or less so after this you're going to get the tail of the magic ring and close it up just pull on it so that it can close up entirely like that and you're going to make a chain of one and slip stitch into the third chain of the very first chain four so you're going to count from the base one two and three and into that third chain you're going to place a slip stitch just pull through all and that way we have placed our slip stitch on top of the very first um, double crochet which is the chain three and then we have a chain one here that means each double crochet is separated from the other with a chain one space. So let's go on to the second color. So you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. Pull through. You're going to leave that tail and you're going to get your second color. For me, that is this green. It's like a deep green and we are going to make a slip knot and attach onto our piece and where i want to attach is the space right before the chain here before this chain that we left behind so 
you're going to attach your yarn there with a slip knot a slip stitch and then you're going to make a chain of three which counts as our very first double crochet double crochet two more times into the same exact space so since the first chain three counted as a stitch that means the very first chain one space has a total of three double crochets then you're going to chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space so i guess the color is quite dark but i'm going to try my best to explain everything so you're going to go all the way around placing three double crochets in each chain one space and separating each group of three double crochets with a chain one space i hope i'm clear on that um there's a repetition of words there but yeah just place three double crochets into each chain one space and make sure after each group of three double crochets you chain one before you go into the next chain one space with three double crochets so here i am placing uh, my very last three double crochets into the chain one space the very last chain one space and at this point you should have a total of one two three four five six seven eight and nine groups of three double crochets and then you're going to chain one and slip stitch on top of the very first chain three into the top chain and you're going to slip stitch there now you're going to chain one and you're going to cut your yarn pull through this is how our second round should look like now we're going on to our third round i'm bringing back this same exact color so grab your next color if you're using multicolors, uh, different colors you can go ahead and do that we have no restrictions for this project so we're going into the space right before this tail that we left behind just like we did for the previous row so into the chain one space and we're going to attach our neon green color now we're going to make a chain of three which counts as a double crochet double crochet two more times into that same exact chain one space so that means the very first chain one space has a total of three double crochets you're going to chain one and into the next chain one space you're going to place three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets into the same exact space so this is the row that creates that changes the round shape into the triangular shape that we want for our cup so after this you're going to chain one two double crochets into the next chain one space chain one two double crochets into the next chain sorry three double crochets into the next chain one space this is three double crochets and then this is three double crochets then you're going to chain one and into the next chain one space you're going to place three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets into the same exact space so the place where we are placing um those points where we are placing three double crochets chain two three double crochets those are the spots that are going to create the corners of the triangle as you can see here and here so we have one side ready let's continue chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and now it's time for our next corner you're going to chain one and into the next chain one space you're going to place a total of three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets
and after this you're going to chain one go into the next chain one space with only three double crochets And then you're going to chain one and slip stitch into the top chain of the chain three at the beginning of the round so into the top chain you're going to just slip stitch there and you're going to chain one and cut your yarn pull through now as we can see here we have created that triangular shape that we want for the bra cup let's go on to our next round you're going to get your next color for me i'm bringing back the dark green and we're going to attach it in the space right before this tail that's exactly what you have to do for each and every row that's where you attach your yarn your new yarn in case you're changing colors now you're going to chain three three double crochets into the same space now one thing that you have to note for this pattern from now onwards is that each chain one space gets three double crochets and each chain two space which will be at the corners will get uh, three double crochets chain two and three double crochets which is almost like a shell so you're going to chain one and this is a chain one space so it will only get three double crochets then after that you're going to chain one and now this is a chain two space so you're going to place a shell which is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets into the same exact space so i hope now this is getting clearer you're going to chain one after this and you're going to go into the next chain one space and i told you each chain one space gets three double crochets chain one this is a chain one space, so it gets three double crochets. Chain one. This is a chain one space, so only three double crochets. Chain one. This is a chain two space. That means this is a corner and it gets a shell. So this is three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets. And then you're going to chain one and three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space now we are at the chain two space so we shall place sorry after chaining one you're going to place a shell into the chain two space and a shell is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets into the same exact space now you're going to chain one this is a chain one space so it gets three double crochets and after this you're going to chain one and slip stitch on top of the very first chain of the round and then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn so we're going to repeat this was row this was round four we're going to just repeat round four until we get enough coverage for our bra cup for example if i am attaching my next color we're just going to repeat the same exact process so you just go to the chain one space behind the tail that you left behind for your previous row and attach your yarn into the chain one space chain three and repeat the same exact process every chain one space gets three double crochets and every chain two space gets a shell and don't forget every other group of three double crochets is separated by a chain one space so just continue to do that and i'll meet you back when i have enough coverage for my bra cup and we shall see what to do from there
Okay, guys, so I made a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six rounds for my size, which is a size small, and this is just fine for me. But I wanted to point out a few things. Um, when you are making for larger sizes, let me say for a size large, because medium, you just add one more round, I think, one or two more rounds to get the coverage that you need for your bra cup. But this all depends on tension, on um, the yarn that you used. You can go as many rounds as you need to cover yourself. But uh, the difference between the sizes, let me say from small then to extra large, shouldn't be a drastic change, shouldn't be as many as four rounds to get the coverage from one size to another. It has to be a difference of just maybe one or two rounds because this stitch works up in a way that when you make one round it is expanding on all sides literally we are expanding both this side and this side and we are also expanding the base of the triangle so you have to keep that in mind so um for me i did a total of six rounds for a size small and medium you will do about seven to eight rounds then large you can go to nine to ten rounds so just do what's convenient for you and uh you're going to repeat the same exact process for your second bra cup but one row less so for me i have a total of five rounds for my second bra cup because the final round is going to join the bra cups together so Let's do just that. You're going to get your final color that you used for your first bra cup. And we're going to attach our yarn as normal. The chain one space behind the chain that we left behind. And we're going to just continue to work normally. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain one. Three double crochets, chain one, chain one. So I want this to be the upper side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this piece, this side, so that I join the corners together, that corner there. So once I get to the chain two space, which is the corner, I'm going to place three double crochets and chain one instead of two I'm chaining one and then I'm going to grab this corner here and pull that loop through and then chain the second one because it had to be a chain of two then go back onto the second bra cup and place three double crochets into the chain to space so that way we have placed a shell but at the same time we have joined the middle of the two bra cups and we are going to just continue working as usual just go back to the pattern nothing changes from this point onwards just finish up your very last round on your second bra cup and i'll meet you back at that point towards the end of the final round I've reached the end of um, the round and I'm going to chain one and slip stitch into the top chain of the very first chain three of the round, just like we were doing before. Okay, chain one and cut your yarn. Now at this point we are done with the two bra cups, as you can see here. We are done joining them. We are almost at that point where the bikini top is ready to wear but we don't have straps so that's the next step so you're going to attach your yarn i don't know what yarn you want to use for your straps but i'll be using the edging color since i have a dark green here i'll be using dark green for the straps so the colors are not so off so you're going to just attach here and then you're going to chain one and you're going to make a chain 
that's long enough for your strap you can make a chain of a hundred I'm running out of yarn that's why I can't do these fancy straps I had just a little ball of green as you saw at the beginning of the video so if you have enough yarn and you're ready to do something fancy for your straps I have some uh, study straps uh, I have a tutorial for straps that you may like and I'll be leaving them on the screen for you guys to try out if that's what you're going for but for me I am going to just make a simple chain for my straps so that I can finish up this top and I don't have to buy more yarn just attach your yarn and then single crochet into the same spot and make a long chain for your strap Now you're going to do the same exact thing for the side of the bra cup, here and here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so I am done attaching straps at every end. As you can see, the yarn is not very straight. That's because I, I had used it for a project. That means it's not new yarn. It's used yarn that I've used to, I've just unraveled it off a finished project. That's why it's like this. So you're going to turn your work onto the wrong side and this is where all the drama is. So the reason why I was telling you to start your yarn, your new color right behind the old color is because we can have those strands and we can just tie them up like that. So a green strand onto the next and then get the next color. Just make sure you're not distorting the general shape of the bra cup. Just be a little bit careful so that you don't mess up the general shape. Then from here, you go from green to neon green, from dark green to neon green, then from neon green to dark green untie then from neon green okay just tie whatever strands that are close to each other that's the best I can tell you for now where you switched colors and those tails are close to each other that's where I'm supposed to tie just make a double knot So I'm tying my very last one, making sure I don't distort the shape of the bra cup. And this is what I have. Now you're going to get your pair of scissors and you're going to cut all the tails that you've tied. And this is what we have this is the wrong side of the work and of course if you want to pad your bra cup you can go ahead and do that so all this mess will be covered up i already have a video of how to pad a bra uh, a bralette i'll be leaving it in the description box below so that you can give it a try if you're looking to put bra cups on your bikini top so this is what you'll have and for this, you're going to get a darning needle. I hope I have one here. I have a curved one. But you're going to just get a darning needle. And you're going to thread it. And weave in these tails.
and at the end of the chain you're also going to get rid of that extra strand within this piece as well All right, this is what we have for one side and when we turn our work to this side we can't see all that mess going around you're going to repeat the same exact process for this side and i'll show you my final look okay guys so i am through with um weaving in all the tails on both bra cups as you can see and this is what we have any side can be the upper side all sides are balanced by the way all sides are the same so this side can be the upper side and you wear it like this or you can just turn it and you just wear it like this and that's how to make an easy floral granny bra cup or a very easy and simple bikini top I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know down in the comment section if you like such simple projects or you prefer the more complicated projects so yeah i'll see you in my next video bye